Hello students. So this video I have specifically made for understanding of R, RL, RC, L and C and RLC series circuits. So we know that in our theory discussion, we always discuss that for resistive circuit, the current and voltage are in phase with each other. For inductive circuit, current lags by 90 degree and for capacitive circuit, current leads by 90 degree. We have already uh, know that how waveforms looks like, but by using the simulation tools, we can actually understand or replicate the knowledge of theoretical understanding through software. So here we can understand the waveforms of current and voltages going through the inductor capacitor, actually lagging or leading for every voltage and that enhances the understanding of the components. So that's why this assignment is done. So basically before starting of this assignment, you should understand or first go through quickly for the knowledge of R, L, C, R, L, R, C and R, L, C series circuits. So I have, uh, we have already know, we know that the R, L, C circuits, how they behave. So let's go through a quick understanding of how RLC circuits behave for AC analysis. So whenever an AC voltage is applied for the resistor, the unity power factor works into the load side. So Z, which we know is completely equal to R. And you can see the image of or the waveform of voltage and waveform of current are exactly starting at the same point. Obviously, the magnitude will vary based on the Ohm's law. And hence, as the voltages vary or the phase delay is zero, we say both are in phase. So the power absorbed by the circuit is totally real power. But in case of inductor, we know that the current waveform lags by 90 degrees. So this is what we need to replicate in our understanding. So let us try to use the circuit lab simulation uh, tool for understanding this case. So for understanding uh, circuit lab, you need to press then this kind of window will appear. Go to launch circuit lab. So whenever you log in into circuit lab first time, it will give you a demonstration. So this is demonstration uh, circuit already been done. You can notice that this is the grounding circuit provided for every circuit. So whenever we are going to simulate an AC analysis, we will have to use the grounding. So we will be deleting this one. Now we need to have a AC voltage source. So you can see voltage source signal sources. So this is AC source. Make sure that you are not using this DC source. So it's simply drag and uh, put case. You can change the name as V. Now we need to provide the amplitude as 150 and we need to set the frequency as 50 Hertz. So that gives a sinusoidal 50 Hertz supply. Let us try to understand the RL circuit now. R circuit, sorry. So just bring your cursor on this particular resistance end and take the dot. The dot will move as a wire and you just need to connect it. Then take a grounding kit and connect likewise. Now as per your roll number, you need to paste the value. I will, you can replace the value as your roll number and I'm keeping it as 100. So just now we are done with the circuit we need to simulate the circuit so see here the build block and the simulate block so you need to simulate the circuit so as we are in the demo class demo session of earlier circuit lab we need to remove these expressions now the start time will be zero let's say we start uh, do the stop time as 10 milliseconds so 10 milliseconds means your frequency is 50 hertz so it gives you 20 milliseconds time period so in this stop time, you will be only able to analyze the 50 but half or positive wave, uh, peak waveform and 10 microseconds justifies the uh, sampling between the two readings which circuit lab takes. So we just need to change this value, let's say to 40 milli. Don't make sure that you are writing M there so that it will give you two cycles, two complete cycles. 
now add expression this is a little tricky so when you add expression you, whenever you come on the equipment don't write anything directly bring uh, the cursor here so you can see a cursor will change into a pen so here you will get a voltage applied voltage waveform when you press on this point see here nothing will do because this wire is connected to this point so it notates that the only same voltage is coming here but you need to click on this resistance end see the resistor is connected between these two terminals so click on this resistor end so once you click you will get a voltage across r1 and current through r1 directly so identically you know that the voltage of sinusoidal waveform and voltage across resistance should be same and current should be based on the uh, ohms law so let's try to run the time domain simulation so this gets simulated. So see here, we have a same graph for voltage, applied voltage and the voltage across resistance. So this is the same graph for applied voltage V1. And this is the graph for current through current resistor. So this is current through resistor. So see, let's try to match the applied voltage to 150. So at 150 volt, you are able to take 150 ampere current. Okay, at 4.99 milliseconds. So these three values you should be able to validate in your calculation. So this is how we simulate. So you just need to export the plot images. When you export the plot image, you can right click on every single image and save it to some some place. Similarly, save this save image separately and save it whenever wherever you want it. And this is the volts versus time ampere solstice time it automatically gets saved if not you can directly take a screenshot of this particular image don't take the screenshot of this tab take a screenshot of this particular tab so let us try to validate what we have so you should try to simulate the circuits with rlc as your roll numbers so for r l and c you will directly put your roll numbers the component value vm sin omega t plus 100 so here omega at omega t you will be pressing 314 so this is what you are putting 314 so 50 hertz frequency and so based on the ohms law your peak value will come like r is equal to ir is equal to 1.5 ampere so this way and these notifications on the graphs you need to submit at the time of submission now let us see what will happen for inductor case so this is uh, the resistor case was one assignment now for inductor we want to understand that current should lag by 90 degree so current whenever voltage starts current should be on the negative peak likewise so let us go in our circuit lab tab again so here you can hide this work now again you need to click on build tab so when you build you will break uh, you will be able to edit the circuit so don't change your voltage signal just change the resistance delete your resistance take the inductor so you can see the value is one micro henry so for let's say we will press 100 for our case and simulate so in simulate now two graphs are already been there you need to add the expression for inductor voltage and current see now for voltage across inductor and voltage applied at this cursor side you can see the names both are overlapping with each other you are not able to see two different waveforms it is overlapping with each other so one and the same waveform but for inductor waveform see when voltage is zero current through inductor is already been maximum value 2.12 micro ampere so this is what you need to provide through the calculations like what will be the reactance of the inductor so reactance of the inductor will be xl is equal to 2 pi fc so the impedance will be uh, based on one of uh, two pi fc so we know the frequency 50 hertz so 314 into inductor value and then voltage divided by inductor which should give you 2.12 so let's say in my case we have xl is equal to 2 pi f into 100 so it will be 
थ्री वन फोर डबल जीरो ओम्स एंड देन फॉर इंडक्टर करंट थ्रू इंडक्टर इट विल बी सो इन आर केस एक्सेल विच यू कैन कैलकुलेट एज टू पाई एफ इंटू एल सो इट इज टू पाई इंटू फिफ्टी इंटू हंड्रेड सो रादर वी कैन डायरेक्टली टेक थ्री हंड्रेड एंड फोर्टीन टैप सो थ्री फोर वन फोर डबल जीरो ओम इज द एक्सेल so a current through inductor will be vm by 31400 so it becomes 40.0047 so let's look at the the graph so when the voltage is zero see this one so when voltage is zero the current value is 4.707 milliampere and similarly you can calculate a uh, few values like at voltage y minus 150 so also it is visible that when current is uh, voltage is maximum current is zero so we can say see this current is zero graph so current lags voltage by 90 degree so this is justified from this graph similar way you can replace to the capacitor add expression of capacitor and then run the simulation for same time so now you can see when voltage is zero current reach to maximum value and so current leads voltage by 90 degree so whenever so you this kind of graphs you need to generate so whenever voltage is zero your value is so 4.7 mega so you can see now the difference between inductor and voltage here the, we have 4.71 capital M, so capital M justifies 10 raised to 6. In case of inductor, it was small M, which was 10 raised to minus 3. And this is so. This what we you need to understand and justify in case of your uh, submission. This way, circuit lab may uh, obstruct you. So in this case, just close the circuits. and try to relaunch the circuit lab it's a free software you can register it but still it takes some time so accordingly you can modify let us quickly simulate the rl circuit so that we should be able to analyze the difference now uh, i am making the capacitor and inductor values 100 100 that doesn't means the resonance condition you need to match xl is equal to xc for resonance condition so this is not the resonance condition so we know that the current flowing through this all will be same so no need to add the current or take us a separate screenshot in for this one
Oh, wait. See, I, I press down your 40. So the graphs were like for 40 seconds, I need to have 40 milli. So these are the graphs. So likewise, you can simulate the circuit. So this was a resultant circuit. So you you need to justify the three, four cases like when RL is, XL is greater than XE or X, uh, XL is less than XE or XL is equal to XE. So these three cases you need to put forward and bring the circuit lab simulation. Thank you for watching video. Please replicate the same. And let me know if you have any issues.